what's going on guys today I wanted to make this video to talk about the American tactical Omni hybrid AR pistol and the issues that I'm having with it so when I first bought this pistol I took it out and I shot about 200 rounds through it no issues uh, I also used a couple of different brands of ammunition and I didn't have any problems at all and a week ago I brought this thing out and I was having uh, a couple of jamming issues where um, I'd shoot one round and the next round would load faster than the shell could eject and so the um, ejected shell the spent casing would get stuck right here and so I was thinking maybe you know the gun was a little dirtier from the last time and I didn't clean it clean it as well but I took it home and I cleaned it up the best I could and I found a little area on the feed ramp where I thought maybe the bullets were catching or the shells were catching and so I lightly filed that down and made it a mo little more flat and I brought it out today and made sure it was nice and oiled up and cleaned and I'm still having jamming issues with it. I really don't know what it is if any of you guys have any idea what it is or have this gun and have the same similar issues, let me know in the comments below what it is or what you think it might be. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start shooting this thing and show you guys what I'm talking about. Alright, so the first brand that I'm going to attempt to shoot is the Federal Ammunition 5.56 55 grain full metal jacket ball nose bullet. All right, so I'm gonna be uh, just shooting 10 rounds through this because I'm pretty sure I won't make it through the first five without it jamming. So let's get to testing this thing out. Oh, there it is. That's the issue that I'm having with it right now. Every couple of bullets it'll do this. All right, let's try it again. First shot. As you can see, it's loading the first, the next bullet before this is completely ejected. All right, next one I'm going to be doing is the 55662 grain full metal jacket. Let's uh, see how well these jam. Look at that, first one right off the bat. Well, it looks like one only jammed out of the 10. I mean, it could be the ammunition, but I mean, it's still jammed one, so I'm not really sure. All right, I'm gonna try another uh, 10 rounds of the green tip 62 grain ammo um, to see if, you know, it works a little better than the uh, ammo I was using before. So let's get it loaded up.
as of right now I'm not really in favor of this pistol right now I mean you know when I went to buy it the upper and lower I knew were polymer and that's why I knew it was cheaper um, I was a little skeptical about it and you know I'm starting to see why uh, you know I would say uh, buy this gun at your own risk I'm going to take this thing home I'm gonna to try to figure out everything I can about fixing the issue if I get it fixed I'm gonna make an update video and show you exactly what I did and how well it's working after the fact so I'm gonna to try to fire some more rounds and see how well it shoots and how well it doesn't slightly different jamming issue the shell went backwards got jammed in there backwards same problem now it's doing it the opposite direction see if I can get the last remaining bullets to fire through this thing nope This shell wanted to go over. Not good. Not a fan. So as you can see, the shell flipped around and got stuck above the bolt. So now I gotta figure out how to take that out. So, as of right now, I am not in favor of this gun and my opinion is I wouldn't buy a pistol or a AR of any kind with a polymer upper I mean I'm not a hundred percent sure if that's the culprit here but um, so far I haven't had any issues like this with any of the aluminum uppers that I've ever had so right now I'd be aware if you go to purchase one of these Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, if you didn't like this video, smash that thumbs up button or thumbs down and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.